Yo, Paul Belter. Yo, what's up, Grubby? Hey, what's up? Not thanks much, for reaching. Thanks for Woke reaching up. out and uh, and and setting this up. People are really excited about it. Uh, welcome to the stream. Yeah, it, sh it should be fun. Where do we start? Do you think? Um, I think two ways we can do it. We can just dive into like any champions you want to play or you're interested in playing. Or if you're not sure, I can suggest champions that I think would be good for beginners or just champs that are fun. Uh, I see you're level 22. So how many PvP matches have you actually played at this point? All of it is from PvP. It's like, you know, it's like 40 games. Uh, I enjoyed some Alois coaching, who coached me some top lane. Uh, Mac uh, recently jumped in and he, his, fo his focus was mostly on like pro play uh, type of league play. And um, I don't know what role you used to play. I think it'd be fun to focus on your role. I think like to really pigeonhole myself into a single role is too soon. At this moment, I am discovering what League of Legends is uh, is about, and I like to see both like the little things and the big things, so that I can appreciate what is skill expression in League of Legends, how you win games, how you make comebacks. Mm, yeah, some of the the finer things, uh, the things that makes League of Legends fun. And then, of course, just looking to learn the game better. I'm discovering a lot of different champions. I don't know all of them yet. I would say uh -huh. most of the champs kind of like teach themselves via their abilities, at least on a base level. So anything that's like less obvious uh, is going to be really fun. I've never done like a jungle deep dive. I've never done an ADC deep dive. Those could be fun as well because I've looked at support in top lane. Okay, um, I could definitely help you with the basics of those roles. My main role is mid. That's what I played for, ah. you know, 14, 15 years. I don't know how long I played this game. So I, I could definitely give you the most detailed uh, instruction when it comes to mid lane, but... Um, yeah, let's do mid then. I think that'd be super fun. Yeah, okay. Okay, perfect. So the hero, the champions that I've played so far... Um, uh -huh. It's not all of them. I've probably played only like probably 30 or 20 different champions until this point. Vi, uh, Azir, Renekton, Thresh, Yasuo, Darius. Wow, you played Azir? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chat made me watch uh, a Faker video where you do the thing where you jump in and then you push the team back into you. Oh, the Shurima shuffle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it actually gets you killed if you do it, uh -huh. uh, you know, trivially. Probably not the best way uh -huh. to to start by learning the champ but yeah azir was fun we could definitely do azir if you think that's fun uh, okay Vi victor. um oh. victor victor victor's victor's good victor's more simple i think sticking to like simple mechanical champs is like the best when it comes to learning the game that's just my opinion it's like you start playing dota and then you know you don't want to start by playing invoker really you want to start by playing uh i don't know wraith king or something like that something yeah. simple yeah, I, I agree with that. And by the way, how did you start playing League? Uh, I actually used to play Dota way back in the day when I was like 11 or 12. I would play on these bootleg European private servers because my parents wouldn't buy me Warcraft 3. <laughs> so I torrented the game off the Pirate Bay and played on this uh, bootleg European server. And I always had 300 ping. It was terrible. Um, and they were releasing a game that they said was really similar to Dota, but it would be free and based in the US. So I was like, great, I'm going to try it. Uh, so that's how I became like a closed beta tester for League of Legends. Ah. And yeah, that was like, must have been 13 or 14 years ago now. And you went pro in the game? Yeah, yeah, it just kind of happened. Uh, I climbed really high on the ladder. Um, I started playing in smaller tournaments. or I, I guess I was just like the competitive scene back then. Everyone would just play all day long for like a Riot Points gift card. Like hundred dollars Riot Points gift card, people would spend their entire weekend trying to win, <laughs> yeah. and then it just gradually developed from there. It like exploded in popularity at some point, and yeah, um, I like took a year off of high school to pursue my dream of going pro and see if it could go somewhere, and that was that was uh, ten years now that I decided to take that gap year after high school. And and your uh, your family was like kind of okay with that, or were they quite hesitant and skeptical? I think my dad has come around a lot, and he's like very fully supportive in me doing what I've chosen to do. My mom still like wants me to go back to school, and I don't know if you know any anything about Asian parents, but she she still wants me to become like a doctor or you know <laughs> something. Yeah. yeah. 
I know the Asian parent stereotypes, and I know that they're there because they're kind of real. And I have an Asian wife, so I, I've heard a lot about okay. it. She's a yeah, Chinese Singaporean, <laughs> so she's told uh -huh. me about it. Uh, what do you have to be? A engineer, doctor, law student? Got three mm -hmm. options. Usually gaming, not one of them. Are you still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm still here. I'm trying to think of what champions um, we can start to play. I think Vex is a really good option for beginners. Yeah. He's you very. Wanna, you want me to learn a new chap? We can do that. Yeah, or or we can just tackle one that you're already a little familiar with. It, yeah. I mean, hey, we can start with the Azir. Azir is one of like my signature champs, so. We, I, I do agree with you that simple first will be easier, so we can focus on the macro. You know, looking at the uh -huh. minimap, accounting for where the jungler is. When does the mid gank anyone? I don't know these things. Yeah, so I would say the most important thing when it comes to roaming. Um, in this game, in League, creeps are the most valuable thing in the game, in my opinion. You always want to secure your entire wave before you ever move to do anything on the map. Um... I know, I think that's not necessarily the case in Dota. A lot of times you will just drop waves. The creeps are not as valuable. Uh, there, You can farm jungle camps really easily. Um, at some point when you get playmaking items, you can just run around the map and start killing everyone. And I, I guess like Lee can kind of be the same way um, at a lot of levels of play. But the most important thing is that you just clear your wave before you go do anything because exp is so 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 valuable in this game like mm. being up one level is uh a very very huge advantage in terms of combat stats because you'll just have a lot more raw hp resists things like that an extra skill point how much um, xp is a champ kill worth let's say we're both level three and uh -huh. you kill my entire wave and uh -huh. I somehow miss experience for the whole fourth wave, but I kill you. Is better for whom? Um, I would say killing the champion is slightly better in terms of gold, but slightly worse in terms of EXP. Mm. And usually, if you make the decision like I want to run run across the map and kill this champion, then you know there's a chance of it not working. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, very important to get all the lane creeps, uh, XP. XP you get when you're within that range, and then uh, CS, obviously, if you get the last hit. Now, in, in Dota 2, if your lane is going poorly by, like, level 4 or 5, you've got some jungle items, and you're a damage dealer kind of guy, like the, the core, you can't just go hit jungle creeps instead. That's not possible here at all. The, the roles are a lot more defined. Would there be a case where a mid laner ever starts to hit jungle creeps, since, you know, the, the, the jungler still exists? answer i guess no. expecting is no yeah never never uh riot has artificially inflated the difficulty for laners to take jungle camps um like repeatedly yeah. probably in excess of like five plus times over the years because it was like too easy for laners to take jungle camps so there is not really a good fallback mechanic when you're very behind in this game you kind of yeah. just have to take it and just like accept the fact that you're getting destroyed and <laughs> You know, try and get as much EXP as you can and wait for the enemy to mess up. So if There's you, no fallback mechanic. If you do start losing mid and you keep uh -huh. losing, it's not like you're going to swap out lane, try lane bot, recover in jungle. You'll just keep going back to lane and feed over and over. Uh, well, ideally you're not chain dying. If, if it really <laughs> is the point that like you can't even approach the wave without dying, then yeah, maybe you need to think of some creative solutions where you start to roam, start to gank. Um... But, yeah, um, I, I would say, like, abandoning the wave and just, like, running across the map and trying to make plays is, like, kind of the Hail Mary option, where your lane is just completely over and you can't contest the CS at all. Okay, okay, understood. So let me let me take a quick look at Vex. You said she's a good champ, not too complicated to start with, right? So I can... Yeah, lock. so... So for mid lane, the kind of quintessential champ that is always recommended for new players is Annie. But I think Annie is like a bit limited. Like she's definitely slightly more simple than Vex, but I think Vex you'll get more bang for your buck, honestly. Okay. I, uh, I don't necessarily need it super simple. That tends to lean towards boring and then I won't feel like 
uh, sticking through with it. I like Irelia quite a lot, and she's not that simple too. You like Irelia, okay? Yeah, she's so she's a lot of fun. We're winning all our games so far, but <laughs> with Irelia. And okay, uh, Ire Irelia is definitely very mechanically intensive. We can just go through the basics of Vex, and then yeah. you know you can you can play a game if you find it boring. We can switch to something else. Yeah, sure. So we launch a wave of mist that deals magic damage, amplified by ability power. After a delay, the wave becomes smaller and faster. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the Q you can kind of think of as like, I don't know. Uh, I just keep trying to think of Dota comparisons because I know that's what you're familiar with. It's like Death Prophet, the, uh, the what do you call it, the Plague Wave? Yeah, Carrion Swarm Plague Wave. I don't know what it's called, but I get what yeah. you're saying. That makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Spammable damage in front. Okay. Like Death Prophet Q, and then personal space. Gain a shield for two and a half seconds that emits a shockwave that deals magic damage. Consumes gloom on hit. Ah, gloom being the trait. So I have to read that first. Every 22 seconds, scalable with level. Vex becomes afflicted with doom, causing her next ability to knock down and fear enemies for a second. Whenever a nearby enemy dashes or blinks, Vex marks them with Gloom for 6 seconds. Mm, Vex's next attacks against Gloomed enemy deals additional magic damage and reduces this. Oh, it's a little bit like Orphea from Heroes of the Storm. But there's two, okay. ele there's two elements here. Uh, I become afflicted with Doom, giving me a knockback and a fear attack. And if people use mobility, then I end up... D uh, punishing them for it with bonus damage. So she's slightly anti-mobility, but only via bonus damage. Uh, no, so when the Gloom is charged, you also apply a Fear and you can interrupt their dashes. So Vex is really good against champions who are uh, constantly dashing, like Irelia or Yasuo. And each time they dash, you can hit them with an auto attack that will recharge your Fear pretty much. Oh. A and it will deal bonus damage to them. Re reduces this ability's cooldown by 25%. This ability being the doom. The fear, yeah. Ah. So normally it takes like 20 seconds. It's going to take 5 seconds off that cooldown, is it? Uh, correct. Uh, so if they use like a lot of dashes in a row, which would does that include Irelia Q or not? Yeah, Irelia Q is a dash. Yeah, so uh, if Irelia goes like through caster, caster, caster... If I just did a Doom, I'm going to have one again. Uh-huh. Okay. And then you interrupt it because when you auto-attack them, you stop them whatever they were doing for a bit. Yeah. Nice. Consumes Gloom on hit enemies hit. Ah. Wow. So, uh, the shield... Wait. Emits a Shockwave? Oh, the shield is for two and a half seconds. The shockwave is instant. So that gives massive CDR on your passive, personal space. Um, so all of the spells will consume the gloom when they are hit. Oh, yeah. I, I would say, like, with Vex, the, the key point is that this champ just has really, really good wave clear. So this, this is actually, like, a very proactive champ. You can just clear your wave really quickly. Yeah and just run around the map and probably rack up a lot of kills every game by just um, insta-clearing the wave and running around. Okay. Why does it turn blue and purple? Oh, blue means that you have doom. Ah. And it's her ability that knocks down a fierce enemy. Okay, when it's blue, they're going to get doomed. When it's purple, it's still charging up. Yeah. And so the E will actually apply Gloom to them, so a good way to charge the passive is to just E all the creeps that are coming in, and then use Q. Vex commands a shadow to fly to a location, increasing in size as it travels. Upon arriving, it deals magic damage. This goes through everyone, yeah? Uh, yeah, it just creates like a small AoE field at the location that you cast it. Not a projectile. Okay. Oh, yeah. And so you wait till the creep wave arrives in wave? Uh, then... Yeah, so... I, yeah. I, ideally, you want to get more of them in the E. You know, ideally, you can try and get all six creeps. Yep. 
And so if you tag them all with your Q or your W there, then it deals the bonus damage and you'll recharge your fear pretty quickly. Okay. And then ulti. Shadow excitedly surges forward, dealing magic damage and marking the first enemy champion hit for four seconds. Dash did a marked champion with a recast, dealing extra magic damage on arrival. Let's see how that is. Yeah, that's like, uh, I don't know. It's a, a little similar to Clockwork Ult, I guess. Yeah. You just shoot a long range skill shot. If you land, you can take it and port to them. And it will reset if you get a kill or assist on them. Ah, okay. So hook shot, a shorter range hook shot that you delay your teleportation towards and recast when you kill them within six seconds of casting it. But we're not a tank, yeah. are we? We are... We're squishing no, down No, you're a like a burst mage. Yeah. yeah. Melee assassin. Okay. Uh, itemization? Uh, itemization. Oh, okay. So do you typically know... You? T I guess you typically would not know what to build. Do you just build like the shopkeeper recommended items? <laughs> <laughs> shopkeeper or even better, Twitch chat. Twitch chat okay. always has a lot to say about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honestly, chat, if you listen to the majority opinion, they probably will teach you the right thing. But um, what you can do if you want to consult like a stats website or something, there's the site called op.gg, which okay. is a very popular site amongst league players. Okay. So you can go to that website. And that's and where then, you are now? Yeah, and then find your champion. Yeah. And then it will show you like the most popular rune page setup, starter items, common core item builds. Okay, N a nice, nice website. Tele teleport has so much more win rate than Ignite. Ignite has a higher win rate, I believe. Really? Oh yeah, win rate, pick rate. Higher pick rate. Ignite has a higher win rate. Interesting. Yeah, so actually, I always take Teleport. I think Ignite is a bit of like a cheesy spell, but Teleport is definitely harder to use. Ignite, you'll definitely get more value out of, I think, as a newer player by just running around the map and killing people. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's up to you which way you want to play, though. Turns out Vex is also a great counter to Huey. Huey has a, she has a high win rate against Huey. Or is that true for all champions in League? I think that might be true for most champions. I don't think... I mean, Vex is just naturally a champ that has higher win rate, I would say, because it is, you know, good for the flow of the way solo queue plays out in most brackets. And she's relatively simple to play at a high level. Ludens and Huey is, like, a bit difficult, I think. Yeah. Do you play him yet? Yeah, I play all the champs. Nice. Do you think Wei is better than the win rate suggests? Um, I think the champ... I feel like champs that are just kind of strong on their own and easy to play around tend to have higher win rate, whereas champs like Huey, which I believe can be really powerful but need like good teamwork and good setup um, and can't like really excel in a lot of situations that arise in solo queue, just tend to be lower win rate. Yeah. So, like, something that will happen in solo queue a lot is someone just decides, like, hey, we're all in. I'm, like, engaging a team fight here. And if Wei is not in the proper position when the fight arises, or, you know, there's a lot of champs in this game that have, like, reset mechanics. If, if someone just, like, feeds a random reset, then it can be hard for a champion like Hui. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Uh some some com combos for uh vex when it comes to a fight let's say or, or let's say how do, how do i play the first wave i am level one and how do i make myself level one let's see there's a reset somewhere reset game i'm level one we start the game do i start with doran's ring yeah yeah doran's ring almost always i would recommend I, actually i would just recommend you to always start a doran's item always doran's item Yep. Over the the little sickle. Yeah, and uh, Vex players, I would say 90% of the time, you'll end up starting your E ability, actually, which is not really your strongest ability, but the most useful at level 1. 
Um, generally, just like your Q is so hard to hit uh, mm. without them already being feared. I don't know if you tried playing around with your Q at all, but it does come out a bit slowly. Yes. So level one, you generally just want to trade like with your E and your auto attack. If you can proc your electrocute with an extra auto attack after that, then that's nice. Electrocute? Uh, but just E auto is fine. Electrocute, yeah. Electrocute is the rune that you've chosen. So oh, right. uh, Electrocute, if you proc damage three times in a short amount of time frame, you'll deal oh, yeah, additional yeah. damage. Yep, yep. I didn't choose it. <laughs> it was default. Okay. So let's say I walk out of the, the shop. Uh, is there someone I, I, I want to ward immediately? Um, so I would say at level one, you can try to ward the enemy raptors. Do you know where that is? Mm, this one? Uh, yep, yeah, that's the one. Do you want to share a screen? I think that might be easier. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see if I share on Discord, uh, if that's going to look okay for you. Not this one. Um, this one, I think. Wait for wait for that to appear. Uh, is it showing? Uh, yeah, I got it. It looks good. Okay. So these are the raptors, right? So I, I could just like walk here, try to put a ward over it, and that's so that I can get an idea when, like, where where the jungler is. Exactly. So that ward will show you at some point where did the jungler start and where is he headed. If he right. shows early on that raptor camp, if he has 12 CS or less, then that means he started on top side and he will be pathing towards bot where the rest of his camps are. And then if he shows there after like, uh, you know, say he already has 12 CS and then he shows on the raptors camp, that means he's already cleared his bot side and then he's going towards top. So it will just kind of teach you what side of the lane should I play towards to avoid being ganked? Yep. And, and it'll uh, give your whole team that info. Maybe your jungler can invade, things like that. Okay. And um, it's, of course, a lot of it is contextual based on the matchup that I'm in and stuff. But is there like uh -huh. a standard thing I would want to be doing most of the, you know, the, the, the first wave? Um, so. I would say the best way to play laning phase is to just try and harass over every single CS that you can. Um, it can be a bit complicated, but generally the concept is when the enemy wants to CS, he needs to walk up and lock himself into an auto attack or cast a spell on the minion to get it. So that is my opening to use my spells to harass him. And generally I want to use my abilities to poke rather than to CS. Okay. And you reserve your auto attacks ideally for the for the CS. Yeah, because when if you cast your abilities on minions, then you know they're not up to harass yeah. the enemy, pretty much. Yeah, if if you saw you were gonna miss something, uh -huh. uh, and you had only a Q, let's say you know you're not gonna get in range, your auto attack doesn't charge up. Would you in that moment choose to use a a spell regardless? Or would you just let it yeah. go? I'm trying to value I, like I, the XP versus gold uh, importance. I, I would probably use a spell to secure the last hit. Uh, the most important one is definitely cannon. I mean, cannon will give like, I don't know, 60 or so gold in early game. And each individual creep is only giving you like 14, 15. Right. Um, so the, the really great thing about Vex and why I think she's really strong and good for new players is by the time you get your base off, you have Lost Chapter, which is like a very common mage starter item. By the time you can I get kind my of base off, sorry. Oh, uh, when you return to Fountain. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. By the time I end up recalling uh, back to the Fountain, yeah. I get it. Sorry. Um, and you get Lost Chapter, which is 1,100 gold. That's kind of like the or early game item for mages. It's 1100 gold. It builds into Ludens, Everfrost, all of the mage core items. Okay. Uh, uh, it just kind of gives everything a mage wants early game. A little bit of AP, a little bit of mana, uh, um, a little bit of ability haste. 
When you get this item and you're like level 5 or level 7, you have some points in your queue, you can kind of just start queuing the wave and just clearing out the wave very, very effectively, which will unlock you to run around the map, typically bottom lane, and just kill the bottom lane. Okay, and would I be focusing on the support or the uh, uh, the ADC? Uh, League is a game where it is generally good to torture the enemy ADC and make it very difficult for him to play the game because the ADC is typically very squishy and if you kill him enough times, he will just become a walking back of gold and ruin the game for his team. <laughs> okay. It's like focusing the enemy position one. Yep. Well, you know, in Dota position one is going to be the best one to torment, but sometimes you focus support because like they're the easiest to kill, right? That's mm -hmm. why I'm trying to I'm trying to see. Sometimes in Dota the ADC is super 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 tanky, but may not be the same in in League. Maybe the ADC is a glass cannon. Um, yes, ADCs are almost always like pretty squishy, and supports are actually typically quite tanky and yeah. difficult to kill. Uh, like between a Caitlyn and an Alistair, who would I be attacking if I had a choice? Probably the Caitlyn. The Caitlyn, yeah, exactly. It would be like, do you focus Drow or do you focus uh, Earthshaker? You would focus Drow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to do a life game? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Your viewers are going to have have the same pain that my viewers have when watching, but uh, everyone's going to start <laughs> somewhere learning. <laughs> it's okay it'll be fun i'm sure you will soon surpass all these naughty naughty twitch frogs yeah that's gonna take a long time but s some some of them maybe and then they're gonna be angry uh i'm still just playing quick play so we don't get to like counter pick anything or of the sort uh they didn't do draft yet and we're gonna choose middle middle jungle priority second choice evelyn now, normally it's never given me second choice yet uh, rune page, you mentioned the OPGG. Um, yeah. I guess it shows runes as well. So we go with Electrocute and Sorcery, Taste of Blood, Eyeball, and Ultimate Hunter. Let me see. Yep, that looks pretty good. Mm, is that what it offered me too? Taste of Blood. Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter. Okay, cool. Let's go in. Does he have the webcam on Discord so you can put him on the screen like we did in Max? Um, well, we can fix that in post-production, Edward. It won't be during live. Uh, Flash and you are a teleport enjoyer. So let's teleport. Yeah. All right, there we go. Okay. Did you get taught the main combos, or do you want to learn by yourself? Uh, I don't know any main combos yet. Um, how would I approach a fight? Uh, open with E? Um, so, Vex is very good at playing off of your ally team CC, I would say. If someone is CC'd, then I would open up with ulti, actually. If you have, like, a straight line to hit it on a priority target. That's, like, the number one thing I look for. Uh, uh, Otherwise, the most important thing is just landing your fear so that you can land all your abilities. If they're close enough, you can walk up and W them to apply the fear because that's instant. Mm, I see. Whereas the other abilities will have a cast time. Yeah, Q is slow. R has some travel time. E. Yeah, E has a cast time as well. Oh, yeah. uh, the abilities are like pretty telegraphed in general. So, um, you know, but this is like a bursty one shot mage type of champion. So. If you find this angle where they're kind of all clumped up, you can even look to flash in all five of them and use your W. And that's like a very strong way to play the fight. Uh, you just slap your AoE fear on everyone. And then you can burst whatever priority squishy target there is. Their AD, their mid, their jungler, whoever. Okay, and E grows the further it's casted from you. E yeah. area size scales with cast distance. My chat says, aim your R, press every other button in their general direction. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> the the R, I, I think if the enemy knows how to play around it, it's very difficult to land, actually. Um, 
if they're playing around it. Uh, but if the enemy is not playing around it, I, I suppose it can be kind of easy to just hit your R if they're standing there and not really moving around. Okay. Uh, when do I get boots? Oh, good question. Um, boots are very strong in this game. A lot of players will rush them to make the most of the movement speed in lane when it comes to like dodging skill shots mm. and you know spacing your abilities i would honestly recommend for you just always at least complete lost chapter first okay and then it will come down to like uh how much gold do you have when you back okay um Got if it. you have like exactly 1100 then it can be good to upgrade the boots but maybe you end up in a situation where you only have like I don't know, 900, then you can't afford upgrading your boots, so I would just get Fiendish Codex or Blasting One to upgrade your Lost Chapter item. Okay. So who's your lane opponent? I'm against Press Karthus. Tab. Karthus, okay. So that's like a mid-range mage where you, you can definitely land your E in the laning phase against this guy. Um, Am I going to cast an E the moment I see him on him? When you think he comes for a last hit. Okay. So when you notice your creeps get low. So the creeps aggro me. I try to run away, but they keep following. Yeah, I, I would keep autoing the creeps. Generally, like hitting level two first. Okay. Good. Game sound can go up a bit. So he's got some kind of delayed um, area damage. I'm not familiar with his champ yet. Oops. Yeah, that is uh, Karthus' main ability. He just shoots those Skittles from like 800 range or so. That's his only... Uh, that's the major thing you need to watch out when it comes to Karthus. I got level 2, but I didn't use the power spike. That's okay. First An ally has been slain. Oops. Who are you again? So whenever you have like this level advantage in the lane, I find it good to initiate a trade because of how impactful levels are, especially early in the game. Yep. Okay, nice. You got the cannon. Run right, run right. Yeah, like this? Yes. So, yep, just keep running down. Huh, all the way home? <laughs> no, 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 now you can return to the lane. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, and and uh, you see where their jungler is. Yeah, I just mean, should I loop all the way around this uh, this thing here? <laughs> I know he's not going to change me into fountain. Uh -huh. So, uh, I give up XP there, but would you say that Warwick gives up something being there, like the opportunity of not doing something else? Like, is that worth it for me to run that scared? Yeah, I think a very impactful way to um, impact games in solo queue is to just do exactly what you just did. Play aggressively, force the jungler to come to your lane, and then be able to escape without losing too much. Right. Because the jungler is giving up time to farm his camps, he's giving up... He's showing his position on the map, which allows the other lanes to play freely. It, I, I find, in a way, there's not a lot of satisfaction in not dying, because, like, you didn't do anything. But uh, it obviously makes sense. Ugh, and you have to believe in the value of that. So I'm dropping low. There's no way to regenerate. I can't ferry myself some heal selves. Exactly. Uh, he's he's going pretty oom as well though. Right. Um, I would say you could be procking your passive more with auto attack. On uh, him? You've been hitting him with E, yeah. You've been hitting him with E, but you haven't really been autoing him. Oh, I have actually quite big range. So yeah, you can see when you just shoot Q like that, now your fear is on cooldown for 20 and it's quite hard to hit. 
the max range. Would I maybe want to... Oops. Would I want to go home now? Uh, no. You want to stay. You want to stay. <laughs> he, he is equally, like, in a, in a very typical... In a difficult spot where he has 50 mana. So this okay. is like a kill opportunity window. Yeah. See, he's, he's scared. He just popped heal. Their jungler showed on bot side. Okay. Flash when you have your fear. Flash on him. Oh, shit. Okay, run, 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 run. Warwick is here. Warwick is here. Put, put the catapult. You're okay? You're okay? Yeah. You're okay? Nice. That's great. They use sums and... Base, 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 base. You must base. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I don't feel that bad. Oh, yeah, I go back. I go back. <laughs> I missed the catapult. Yeah, it, it's a bit unfortunate, but you did absorb their jungler's gank again. This is TP. This is TP. TP back. TP back. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Now, their mid laner has to base. Their mid laner is a naughty boy who did not take TP. Ugh, now you can hit his turret for that juicy, shadow. delicious turret plating. Okay. Uh, one plate. Probably not two, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And cue the wave. You, now, now is the timing. You have the lost chapter. You can just start spamming Q on the wave. Look at that wave clear. Now okay. one more Q and this wave is done. Okay. QW? W, W, W. Oh, yeah. To get the oh. rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. And now, pan your eyes to the bottom lane. Oh, this is the first time I look at the minimap. Okay. They look full HP. Maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Good. Good electric proc. You can shoot another Q. Okay. And now you can just keep queuing the wave. Okay. Wow, nice wave clear. Do I rotate? No. No. Ward Raptors? Over the wall? Nice. He, prob he probably saw me do that, right? Like, there's no way to avoid him yeah. seeing that. I have to face that way, right? Yeah. He sees it, you see it, everyone knows, and it's still good. Okay. <laughs> good. That's, that's very clear. You have level advantage. Oh, so you keep applying the fear on him. The fear is a great time to land your Q, because he, oh. he cannot dodge it. But, and uh, I would say here, you can kill him. Oh, really? Like, yeah, right you can now. look to kill him. You have enough damage. You have enough damage, yes. If you land your fear. What's my, but how do I land my fear? Like any one of them, right? <laughs> like, you, like, yeah, like any ability when you have, you see the, the timer by your bar, 16 seconds, 15, 14. Yeah, I, I don't that's have your time fear. to look at that. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I mean, your character will make a noise. There's a bar under your character, if you see that bar that's charging. Nope. Is that his ulti? Oh, oh watch the terror shots. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, tur turret shots are not like in Dota. Each turret shot will absolutely destroy you. Yep. <laughs> okay! <laughs> we like it. I mean, I was probably going to die anyway, so I might as well trade, right? <laughs> That's true. That's very true. What boots do I get? Let me think. Sorcery yeah, ma shoes. Magic resist? Sorcery shoes. Oh, I see. Magic penetration. Magic penetration. Do I get more healing pots? So I would sell the health potion and buy a refillable potion. Okay. Because each individual health pot is so expensive. And now uh, it's like you have infinite tangos. Okay, okay. Every time you base. Ult back to lane, someone said. Okay, don't do that. That is false. <laughs> you can't do that. I would have done it just for fun. Let's see. Can we, ban, <laughs> can we ban this person? One Shivers? Any mods? I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Look what they made me do, Poe. That's funny. Oh, how nice. Your jungler was able to take dragon because you've drawn so much pressure mid. Good auto attacks. Good electric heat proc. Q. Nice. nice. We Q him and the wave at the same time. That's wonderful. Nice. Q. Oh, you're going to gank again. That's fine. Walk away. He missed R. He missed uh, R. What? Oh, wow. His Look R is some guy. kind of lunch. Yeah, it's like... Uh, um, it's like Slark Leaf. Okay! Alright, alright, alright. W oh, for nice. the shield. Oh. Yeah, I didn't need shield. That, that right? will give you some survivability. Let's say like, yeah, we'll... if I block tower shots with it, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take some damage with it. Uh, R for the wave clear before it dies. Okay, that's fine. Oh, oh, the the cooldown isn't forever. Yeah. Six. What well, is it? Six seconds or what? Uh, yeah. So I think you can think about using your W to wave clear a bit more as well. Okay. If you if you have the opportunity to just walk in the middle of all the creeps. Okay. Got it. You you need to clear this creep fast and then recall before their mid laner comes back. Got it. Now you get another delicious plate. You need to back off further. Karthus will be here already. And <laughs> right, that's gonna be fine. Okay. I, I agree, but... Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do I buy? Uh, 1,200 gold, that's perfect for Blasting One and Dark Seal. Blasting One and Dark, dark seal. seal. Okay. So Dark Seal is like a cheap item that you can slot in whenever you have the gold on any AP champ. Okay. Uh, it will give you additional AP on takedowns. Okay. But you will lose it if you die. So. Oh, I was just going to say, so it's in my favor now to trade one for one. Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm really glad you specified that. I am one level higher. Oh, they got feared. Yep, that's your fastest. It counts even on creeps. Uh -huh. Oh, look at look at the mini map. What is their jungler doing? I don't know. What is your jungler oh, doing? Oh, he's taking. Okay. Oh, they're fighting. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay, okay. Oh shit. <laughs> that's wow. okay. That's okay. You just saved your jungler and you secured Harold, which is a huge objective. Uh. I uh, I don't use minimap a lot in League. You would think that I would because it exists <laughs> in other games I play, but it's yeah. the overstimulation from all the... not the skins, from all the other mechanics. Uh -huh. So do you see what... I did oh. not see, no. Oh, w for the turret shot? Okay, that's uh. okay. You can use W when you take turret aggro okay. to take Anytime the turret a shot. single turret shot, double you for it, just because it's so much, right? Yeah, exactly. So you can see it was so good to push your wave and move to the play there around Harold. Oh yeah. Their mid laner has to drop CS to follow, otherwise it becomes a numbers advantage play. Oh sure, yeah. So that's why we're spamming Q. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, and I would say... To go? Yeah, now, now you're allowed to go. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. You said that you would say? Oh, I would say like looking at the mini map is a bit important here now that you have TP. At 10 minutes, your TP will unleash, will mean which means you can teleport to creeps. Ah, uh, okay. Typically, you can only teleport and wards yeah. is is very. You good. can teleport to wards. What about it? Yeah. Weird. This guy is looking mighty killable when you have your passive again. Yeah. Assert dominance. Take another plate. Okay. It's still right it's on time. We now got yep. maximum gold from plates, right? Uh, five plates is the maximum. Run, 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 there's not here. Okay! You have flash still? Nice. Help. You have fear, you have fear, you have fear. <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> oh yeah, I can uh, still R for the creep wave, right? No one else is gonna come yeah. here, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Q, Q. Do not use W, save your W. Karthus <laughs> has a... Oh, okay. Well, Karthus has Z-Salt, so oh, you might shit. die here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What do I buy next? Seriously, I'm burning up out uh, Ludens. And I would go into Shadow Flame. It's typically okay. the next option. Okay. Buy, uh, the, buy the damage. You always buy the damage yeah, if you yeah. have a choice. So now you can see this ward in bot lane, in, the, in that bush. Say their Seraphine starts to push up and wants to hit your bot lane turret. Oh my god, Then you, you would TP behind and just ward. kill her. Shadow yeah, then you would just TP behind and kill her. No. And their bot lane will be like, what the fuck? But not yet, right? Like only if she steps up a yet. bit. Exactly. Does she know and when I'm teleporting? In that case, she would because she has vision in that bush. You can tell I mean... by the warded indicator. Oh. But if they don't have vision of your ward, they will not be able to see it unless for some reason they have their camera pan there. Oh, I see.
I could walk there, but... Yep, yep, you have so much free time. You already cleared out the wave. Now you yeah. have very a lot of free time. You can flip your ward inside their jungle and just walk there. Okay. Walk bottom. They're, they're not backing up. So their body language is they're not backing up. Go, 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 go. W, w. Oh, okay, he's fine. Uh, I should have had that. That's okay. So do I now so, recall and then teleport to mid or not? Uh, yeah, you can base and then look to TP anywhere on the map. Yeah. So there, when they're face checking you like that, I would open up with a W. All right. And then while they're feared, I, you can legit just like roll your face on your keyboard and hit all your other abilities. <laughs> okay. Uh, small feared. admission, that's what I did. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, yeah. To to. Uh, do I have any actives? No. Doesn't so look here like you could have looked top. Me. Okay. Here you could have looked top. Okay, this is a very interesting path to take. They will see you. I definitely don't recommend doing that. Well, why not? I, I was looking to flank him. Okay, uh, you, you just showed to the enemy tier 2 turret like very early on. So I <laughs> okay. that angle. Wait, let me see. Uh, I, can't, I can't compare it to my own tier 2 turret. Oh, like he can see me from here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not a face, and I won't grow out of it. Very nice. Don't forget to use your potions while you're fighting. Oh yes, thank you. Oh, there was some... Wait, is she the tentacle lady? She's tentacle lady. Oh and god. So, ah! that, yeah, that, that was card the salty. It's like Zeus old, but it has a cast time. You'll see it just like a shining beacon above your head. Okay. So you can negate that with your W. I didn't see it because uh, I was checking the heroes. I love okay. you, I love you. Yes, that one. Do I sell so bottle I would sell, I sell, sell yes, yeah, sell bottle exactly. And then do I sell Dorans too? No, no, no. no. Actually, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To right. afford the item. To get the whole thing, right? I, I like to greed my Dorans item because it's an efficient item, but this uh -huh. is honestly quite good as well. Okay, it's 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 still quite efficient. The ring. Let's see. Oh, mana, mana regen. Okay. You would have considered not selling Doran and then just come back right. late. Well, you would have timed your your back better with more money. <laughs> Yeah, well, sometimes you can't always do that, but uh, I, I like to create it's, it's like uh, not selling your bracer or your uh, wraith band. Yeah, I would never sell bracer or wraith band if I had inventory slots left. So I yeah. see what you're saying. Someone in my chat is saying uh, you, you really don't like active items. That's great for you. League, there's very bland item actives compared to Dota. Well, it's not that I don't like it. I like them. I play a lot of piano builds in uh, CS in uh, the different games. I just try to not overload myself while I'm learning a champ for the first time. Okay. Yeah, you know, because I already have to remember what the QWE does, etc. This looks like a good gank opportunity. Allow you already use the ult. He flashed out. Oops. <laughs> That's okay. Ah. I'll cut him off. Okay, so I would generally avoid this sort of play where you're just kind of chasing for 40 seconds. Because <laughs> if you're chasing kills like this, you're not farming your wave and you're giving their mid chance to... Wow, very alpha move you just did there. Did I the accidentally take the buff? Line. Yeah, it was a very beautiful accident though. I would accidentally do that as well. I was just trying to help him take it faster and I inadvertently took the last hit. <laughs> Uh, take the Rift Herald. Do I, uh, I should push out one more wave, right? Yep, yep. You always want to slam the wave. 
The way I view it is, I slam this wave, I have 30 seconds or so to do whatever on the map. Sure. Um, and then, like, my timing is done after that play. So I would have looked at Alawi that, like, one time there, and then after that, it's like, well, should I really chase this guy down, or maybe I should just go back to my mid wave? Yeah, 40 seconds chase is too far. And if something doesn't materialize here in the next three seconds, I go back mid. And just also. walk back mid, yeah. exactly. And you want to get back before they can start to hit the wave, ideally. Ah, because so you, you want to be there and pressure them off of touching the wave, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was an attempt. Yeah, you can see how hard it is to land uh, unless you're already CC. Yeah, I was just trying to do like... Uh... Oh, watch out for the tentacles, bro. Oh, God. I think I accidentally initiated a recall sequence. I pressed B and it doesn't... <laughs> And I think it don't let you interrupt unless you press stop, perhaps. Uh huh. Uh, you you can cancel it with any movement command. Sure. Or any spell cast. Uh, so a very exciting item you can build here is the Magi Soul Stealer, which upgrades from your Dark Seal. Uh, it's kind of a. Oh, we won. Oh, they surrendered. <laughs> Would you say that was justified considering the game state? Um, I would say, I mean, in lower ranks, anything can happen because the game is so volatile. I think in, I feel like in higher ranked games, if the enemy team has a sufficient enough lead, most of the time they won't throw it. Yeah. But in lower brackets, you can almost always count on the enemy team to give chances to get back into the game. I would say the comeback mechanic in League is generally like you will accrue a massive gold bounty if you're ahead and if you misplay and give that bounty you will give away an insane amount of gold and EXP to whoever is lucky enough to get it. That makes so sense. if you're playing from behind just look to cash in on that big enemy bounty which you can see from the scoreboard. And, and how would that look like? In Dota you have a smoke of deceit. You go around unchecked by wards you group up uh -huh. as two, three, four, or five and you try to prey on the person that has the biggest bounty, the most valuable to take down. But I don't imagine that in the Iron Leagues, I can get my team to do like a five man group up at the opportune time with the correct pathing to get that bounty guy. Like how would I engineer such a comeback if I was behind? Um, in the Iron Leagues, I think you can just expect the guy who's really fed to just mess up and overplay <laughs> his hand and you know, go way too deep in a team fight or go way too deep in a skirmish and just die anyway. If you have TP, I will. I would say like even all the way up until Challenger, no one will ever expect to flank TP. So that's like a very powerful tool to kill someone who is uh, a bit squishier. And for the rest of you would just focus on like good fundamentals as in try to catch every waves, buy yourself a 30 second ticket to go away by shoving as much wave as you safely can look for something to do elsewhere, the right ward locations. When mid comes, respect it and just walk away. Yeah, and Just exactly. keep playing fundamentally well, wait for them to, to mess up. So you're not thinking of like, I need to do this rally the troops because you're playing a pop. You don't know if they're going to listen anyway, right? Uh, you, yeah. You're not looking yeah. for some kind of opportunity to, to call the troops and do a five man rotation to a place they don't expect. Yeah, that will never happen. Not even in challenger ranks. Everyone is mostly doing their own thing. Yeah. So in terms of, uh, let's say, creative playmaking, there are some things you could do, but they may not be the highest statistical likelihood to work. We we play fundamentally, we look at the minimap, we play defensive, wait for them to mess up. That would be your preferred style. And you think the best. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. My chat says, play away from the fed person, farm waves until you get items, put wards that you can teleport to. Yeah, I would say that's a decent idea. I mean, sometimes you do want to butt heads with the guy who's really fed, depending on, you know, does someone have a really impactful ability up or maybe their really fed guy is no flash and he's overextended. Mm. It's all very situational. Uh, it, it's not the case like in Dota where if someone just has is like insanely ahead, you literally just like can't fight him and you have to permanently run away from him. I would say the lane that tends to be able to be in that situation the most is top laners. Uh, because top laners will 
become very tanky while still dealing a high amount of damage. But yeah. um, generally, like, mid laners, 80 carries, even when they're fed, they're still, like, quite squishy. And is, is Vex... Vex is a squishy burst mage, right? So she's not someone yeah. that sets up... I forgot the name for that, like, enabler? She's, she's not mm -hmm. an enabler, right? She's kind of like a second ADC? Um, you can play in a way where you set up the fight for your team if you find a good opportunity to ulti in and get your fear on everyone. Mm. Um, so yeah, you can kind of either play as like primary engage if there's a good opportunity or just as follow up. Yeah. You know, I have this idea. It might be fun. I don't know if you're up for it. Would you be up to play a game of Vex where I watch you? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah? Cool.